All right, welcome back everyone. It's Kabir Bhutto here. In the previous lecture, we went through the concept of parallel access theorem. I also did one problem related to it. And we left our lecture somewhere here at this question. So I'm going to continue today's lecture from here. If you know how to solve this problem, you can just skip this question and move to the next topic. So it says that determine the moment of inertia for the rectangle with respect to axis YB. Okay, so in this question we are asked to determine moment of inertia about this axis which is parallel to centroidal axis, Y dash axis. So according to parallel axis theorem, I Y B is equal to I Y dash plus A D X square. And we know that from previous lecture that moment of inertia about this axis, Y dash axis is equal to H P cube divided by 12 plus A is the area of rectangle which is equal to B into H and DX is the perpendicular distance between Y dash axis and YB axis and this is equal to B by 2 and if you simplify it so moment of inertia about this axis, yb axis is coming out to be equal to hp cube divided by 3. And that's your answer. How do you calculate moment of inertia for an area defined by a curve? Assume for the sake of discussion that this is the area lying below this curve. And you want to determine moment of inertia of this area with respect to certain axis. In order to deal with such questions, you need to draw a strip parallel to those axes about which the moment of inertia is to be determined. So let's say if you want to determine moment of inertia about x axis, you need to draw a strip of differential height. And then utilize the generalized equation for moment of inertia ix equals to integral y dA. Calculate dA of this area, this rectangular strip and then substitute it here and solve it. You'll get your answer. Similarly, if you want to determine moment of inertia about y-axis, you just need to draw a strip parallel to it. And this differential width would be equal to dx. And there should be a square here. So iy is equal to integral x square dA. Just calculate dA, that is the area of this rectangular strip and insert it here and solve it. You'll get your moment of inertia about y-axis. Okay, let me illustrate this with an example. Question number two says that determine the moment of inertia for area shown in figure below about x and y-axis. As discussed previously, we are going to use the generalized equation ix is equal to integral y square dA. And since we are calculating moment of inertia about x axis, we need to draw a strip parallel to it. So this is our dA element, differential area, and this is equal to dy, differential height, and this differential area is intersecting the curve at x comma y. So dA is equal to this distance is 1 and this distance is equal to x. And if I calculate dA is equal to base is equal to 1 minus x height is equal to dy. Just insert dA here and we can observe that we have to integrate with respect to dy. So we need to convert this x into y and we will use this function to do that. So if I calculate x from here, take out x from here is equal to taking the square root on both sides. So this will be square root y to the power 3 and a square root x to the power 2. This 2 cancels with this square root and this becomes y3 by 2 equals to x. 
So insert this value of x here. So ix becomes. So what should be the upper and lower limit in this case? So y here is 0 and to the top up till here y is equal to 1. So lower limit is equal to 0 and upper limit is equal to 1. And if you solve this simple integration, and now let's solve this integral. Applying limits to it. And ix is equal to 0 0.111 meter to the power 4. Since the units here are in meter, so ix would be in uh, meter to the power 4. And that's your answer. To calculate moment of inertia about y axis, we need to draw a strip parallel to it. So this is our dA element and this will be, this differential width will be dx. And this point is x comma y. And this is the point where your differential area intersects with your curve. That is y cube equals to x square. And using generalized equation, iy is equal to integral x square dA. And dA from here, so insert this dA into this generalized equation, this becomes integral x square y into dx. And since we are integrating with respect to dx, we need to convert this y into x. And to do that, we are going to use this function, the equation. Just take out y from here, take cubic root on both sides, this becomes, and if you further solve it, so y is equal to x to the power 2 over 3. Insert this value of y here, i y becomes and since the integral is taken with respect to dx, the upper and lower limit will be corresponding to x direction. The curve starts at x equals to 0 here and ends at x equals to 1. So lower limit will be 0 and upper limit will be 1. And if you simplify this, you obtain Now applying the limits. And iy is equal to 3 by 11 which is, is equal to 0 0.2727 meter to the power 4. And this is your answer. And we are done with this lecture. Thanks for watching till the end and take care.